Ezra's name was that. Are you all right? This, this is it. It's all here. These journals are damning evidence of my family's betrayal. Now I can take the fight back to the Thalmor. Without your help, my family would never have had a chance of seeing their home again. Now, at least, there's a chance. Now let's find a way out of here. Yeah? I want to know more. After everything you've done, it's time I tell you the whole story. Oh. It's kind of a long one. Okay, so I'm going to shut up during this and I'll just... Sure! I wasn't always who I am now. Wanderer, cut purse. I had a home once, Oak Shore. A great estate just north of Hammerfell. The mild winters led to bountiful harvests every year, which made us very wealthy. I was raised to be every bit the nobleman's daughter. We sold crops to the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion for years. One day, my father was approached by a Thalmor official named Vidric. That day, he wanted to buy more than crops. Maybe they wanted to buy Oakshore weapons, itself. Just in case. What'd your father say? He refused. Oakshore was our home, our paradise. He wasn't about to let anyone take it from us, but Oakshore was too important to the Dominion. It would make a perfect stronghold and let them keep tabs on Hammerfell. So Vidric made a plan. He harassed my father day and night. Then he sent Gunnar to pose as Stormcloaks who would protect my father from the Thalmor. Gunnar's men began causing trouble, stealing, hurting people. I knew paying Gunnar was a mistake, but my father didn't know what else to do. He told no one else in Oakshore that he was accepting help from the Stormcloaks. He knew what that would do to us if the Empire ever found out. One night, I followed one of Gunnar's men to a farmer's house. He barged in, demanding ale and bread. When he tried to touch the farmer's wife... Things got ugly. Yes, he fought back. He didn't win. I watched through the window as Gunnar's lapdog just slaughtered them both. I ran as fast as I could. I hid nearby as all of Oakshore gathered at the farmers. I decided that this had gone on. I stepped forward and told everyone who murdered the farmer, and that we had sided with the Stormcloaks to try and hold on to our land. They arrested Gunnar, his men, and my family. For Vidric won. Everything that happened was... They tried, believe me. I escaped and fled to Skyrim, where I began wandering from village to village. I was angry, confused, betrayed. Oakshore and my family were everything to me, and now they were gone because of me. Can't blame Try yourself. Try telling that to an 18-year-old girl who just lost everything. Trust me, I could blame myself plenty, and I have for a long time. That was 10 years ago. For 10 years I wandered Skyrim. I've really, Lydia? Never dreamed of Lydia's a bitch because we're not paying attention to her. And then I met you. You showed me what it means to have a purpose. To have hope again. To bring hope to others who need it most. So thank you. My life would be very different had you not walked up to Falkriath that day. And with these documents, Oakshore might one day be ours again. Who knows? You might even get a chance to see it one day. Was there something else? There's always a dungeon waiting to be delved somewhere, and with as much trouble that fault. Anything else? We'll talk later. Okay, so that right now, I believe, is the conclusion of her quest line. Uh, where is this dumbass? Yo, bro, where'd you go? I know he went flying off like a fucking maniac as soon as we killed him. Um, nothing. I'm still here. I know you Find are. Yourself. Skyrim are a miserable bunch. We risk life and limbs slaying wolves, bandits, and a lot worse all day. So, an, a couple more things. Um, Arissa is a chaotic good companion. Uh, she does not like it if you start doing Dark Brotherhood quests with her in the party. She will start flipping out on you, and she'll lose her regard. Oh God. Um, oh, let me get away. Let's get going. I wish. Um, oh God. Okay. So there's that, and um, take some steel ingots. Take leather strips. Um. 
I think the mod author has said he wants to do more, but I could be wrong. When I downloaded the mod, it was last year, the end of last year, in December, and there had been an update. Um, she is not currently marriageable, so this is as far as your... Which I think is interesting. Um, the same way that Samara from Mass Effect uh, is interesting because she's not I'm still uh, marriageable. It's, it's more interesting to me if there are people who are very good friends of yours who you can't pork. Actually, it's the here. essentially sex-addicted Commander, Sh Commander Shepard. Um, yeah, so we're going to have to uh, jump off here, which sucks with the survival mod on, but let's go. You awaken submerged in an underground lake, checking yourself, nothing seems to be broken. You hear Arissa's voice beckon. This way, it looks like a way out. It seems she survived the fall as well. You begin swimming toward the torchlight at the far end of the cavern. And there goes my wetness meter, which it's not as cool or hot as it may sound. You're soaking wet from rain or, swim or swimming, which significantly increases your rate of exposure. Dry off by standing near fire or spending enough time out of the rain or not swimming. Wearing a cloak can help you stay dry while traveling in the rain. Unless you jump into the motherfucking lake with your goddamn cloak on. So I think this is a semi... There's, there's no... Oh, well, there's stupid Sophia. Do you need some... What is it? We'll talk later. So... Unfortunately, I gave Lydia, I think, all of my fucking... No. Uh, wood. Let's see. Let's see if I can get any wood down here. Harvest wood. There are no trees nearby, dumbass. Let's go. Uh, so there it is. Um, I think that's sort of cool. Hope the game didn't just shit itself. It might have shit itself. Oh, there we go. Escape from the cave. Completed old wounds. Okay. You don't see as many kajits about these days. I guess they must have gone elsewhere. Do we get it? Elsewhere? Elsewhere? <laughs> There's Arissa there. Hey, whore. I've got your back. Uh... There goes my phone. I am sworn to carry, am sworn to carry your burdens. Give me some firewood. I need six. Lead on. Uh, build a campfire. I just need to try to get my freaking rate of exposure down. I'm completely warm, I know, but I need to... It's getting hot in here, so take off all your armor. It's getting hot in here, so take off all your... The freaking Berserk. Uh, an anime called Berserk, if you know what it is. I have a couple mods installed from that that uh, mimic that world, which is going to be sort of cool. Um, but they have a great outtakes from that stuff. I am completely dry. Awesome. Let's destroy. Okie dokie. And... Essentially you go this way. We'll go check in in solitude. 
We'll go do the whole rigmarole where we're... We go in, they're like, oh, we're going... He let Ulfric Stormcloak, and we've been waiting to execute him until you walked in for some goddamn reason. Got my full survival bag. I... I don't know, it's a little things. I really like the fact that you hang all of your stuff on your backpack and as the amount of stuff you have increases, you can change that. And all that. I, th I think that's cool. Uh, I think it's kind of neat that that's a thing. So that right there, that discovered icon that is not normally there, is the High King's Palace from the High King of Skyrim. These vampires are becoming a real menace. There's no greater honor than to serve. If you're serious about enlisting, speak to Legate Ricca in Castle Dower. You're just in He's the sorry bastard who's going to be ex- A gate guard who left Ulfric's Stormcloak escape the city after he killed the High King. There is much beauty in this place. I welcome you, friend. How may- Take a look. Hmm. Hmm. Potion health. I don't know, it's just me. I kind of like giving these guys uh, business. I guess in a role-playing sense, I would give them business. Uh, since they're always sort of being crapped on by everyone around them. Your road lead you to warm sand. Kajit has players. If you have coin. I think I did one playthrough a while back that I didn't record was I played a merchant and that's how I got by. Uh, so yes, again, huzzah, more stuff from the cut thing. So we're going to go in and watch this poor bastard get his head cut off. And then we're going to grab the companion quest from... The head from Tell him he didn't do it. Positions. As far as you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. Get on with it. Oh, and then we'll go to the tavern. I have something cool to show you all. You should tell her that her uncle is scum that betrayed his You betrayed us. Best she know now, Advar. You're all heart, Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric no. challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. On this day, I go to Solendard. 